Friday of the August long weekend. This year's trip will take us down Canada's French River. We planned a seven night paddling adventure from Lake Nipissing down the French River and into the Georgian Bay. Logistically, this trip was much more difficult to plan than our regular Algonquin trips. We spent hours researching before we figured out a feasible plan. As we required a place to stay the night before our trip started, we found Riverdale Resorts. It was situated between Lichty's Marine and Hartley Bay Marine. Both of these locations offered paid parking and would allow us to leave a vehicle for several days. Lichty's Marine can best be described as a mom and pop location, which operates on the honor system, allowing you to leave your payment in an envelope and park your vehicle for the week. Hartley Bay operates like a traditional business with operating hours where you'll enter an office where they'll collect your payment and direct you exactly where to park your vehicle. Unfortunately this year it's only going to be Evan and myself as Ryan's had a family emergency and had to uh, cancel at the last minute. It was actually uh, just today that we got word for sure that he couldn't come. Uh, forced us to make some changes on our food plans a little bit but um, we're definitely going to miss him. Uh, we're going to make the best of it. I know Evan and I are going to have a good trip together, uh, but it's going to be a little bit different with just a, just a two-man team. So, 6.30 in the morning, Saturday, July 30th. We're going to the French River today. So, Hartley Bay Marina doesn't open until 7 a.m. So, we woke up and showered and got ready to go so we could leave at 6.30. We're going to be right there when they open. We're going to drop out the truck to make sure it's at the bottom for us when we're done a week from now. And then we drive straight back up here, down this highway, to Lichty's Marina. And then we're out of here this morning as close to 8 o'clock as we can. I'm really excited. Looks like a gorgeous morning. We're in pretty good spirits. We drank a few too many wobbly pops last night, but we're doing okay. So we, uh, we're heading generally west today, all the way down the south shore of Lake Nipissing. And I don't think we're going to make it into the top end of the French River today. We're going to try our best. So we're going to end up Crown Land camping somewhere close to uh, Canoe Pass, probably, hopefully. It's pretty calm. We are in like a secluded little bay and obviously the lake's going to open up quite rapidly here, but we should have a tailwind. We'll hug the south shore and the plan is to put in 30, 35 kilometers worth of travel today. And uh, we got a big belly full of breakfast, so I don't think anyone wants to stop for lunch anytime soon. Should I try and fish? All right, I'm gonna rig up my rod here. Somebody else is fishing, so might be a fish or two in here. And uh, yeah. I'm just relaxing here on the boat. We're still just uh, not too far from Lefebvre Point. Evan's been putting a lure on his line for 27 minutes now. Um, he didn't have a leader on, then he put one on, then it fell off, then he stabbed himself with a lure. I don't know it's what all else. Lies. I don't know what else is going on. It's been quite the process. If I catch a lake trout, you're gonna love it. Well, do we even know if there's lake trout in here? I, I don't. Know. It is warm though. I'm definitely feeling like I should have sunscreen on. Arms are getting a little roasty. Might pull the sleeves down for protection. I haven't either caught a fish or a snag. Like massive it's not pulling, so it makes me think it's not a fish. I feel like it was like hitting. 
But like we are moving, right? Yeah, you all looped around. Here's the hidden bottom. We're just starting to round uh, La Flesh Point, I believe. If uh, reading the map is accurate, we haven't done any GPS looking yet. From what we've read, there's some spots here you might be able to pull off, um, but apparently further west and around the corner, there's an actual like marked good campsite. And this would be looking into like a big section of West Bay. It's probably tough to tell on camera, but like that far shore is quite a ways away. And then we're looking right down West Bay and it goes a long way. Oh. Well, give, oh, give, her, give her a little break maybe. And we will be heading that way for many hours. Many, many, many hours. All right, good enough spot as any. Kind of like when we were eating lunch in Wabakami. Find a nice bit of rock. That's looking down West Bay towards Lake Nipissing. It's a little more exposed now than it was. Like the wind is obviously prevailing. Not much wave activity, but once we swing this point, we're not in the islands like we were. There's gonna be a bit more open water, but we're gonna make fantastic times. I don't think it'll take very long, maybe another hour and we'll be on to the next stretch, on to Lake Nipissing itself. Absolutely gorgeous. The cottages and stuff you see on the shoreline occasionally kind of take away from it. Guys fishing, <laughs> but still, still fantastic. Hey Rich. Yeah, it's been good so far. Feels good to be first day of the trip. You know, when you got the whole week to look forward to, and you don't know exactly what kind of adventure awaits, especially when it's outside of Algonquin, so even more, I don't know, unusual for us, different. What? Are you working at all? Yeah. Never acknowledge my brute strength. There <laughs> <laughs> you go, sunshine. Back on the water, baby. Do it. So I want to get a little bit of video of this. We're nearing the end of West Bay. Uh, you can't really tell on camera, but like we got two, three foot big old swelling waves. And uh, there's some buoys as it narrows here. And we're trying to cut across to get on the left side of this buoy because tons of boats are flying in and out of this channel. And every time they're going dead into the wind, so they don't really slow down and the wakes they cause are just devastating. Everything's going this way, and then when the wake comes, you get some weird pyramid-shaped waves, and so we're gonna try and stay over here. No boats are allowed, so we should be much better over here. So we finally made it, and that's looking out into the main body of Lake Nipissing. You can just see the far shoreline. There's a little lighthouse out there. So we're gonna head off through here. There's a little narrows. I'll show you on the map here what we've done today. So we started here, Shishwap Road at Lichty's, and we paddled all the way here to La Flesh Point. Stop for lunch, paddle here, and here's where the swell and the waves really picked up because everything was coming down the, the bay. Now we are 
on to the other side of the map and we're here. We're gonna go through the narrows and then basically anywhere between here and here, we're gonna stop. If we make really good time, we might come in, just find a really nice campsite somewhere, basically just south of Sandy Island. And then tomorrow, we're gonna be coming in through Canoe Pass and entering. So, so far, pretty successful day. We're not done yet, but we're about eight kilometers from where we need to be. With the wind at our back, we should make it. Uh, honestly, we could stop at any point, but as long as the wind is reasonable, we might as well keep using it to our advantage. Most of these kick islands, most of these islands, these places, people have stayed. There's fire pits and evidence of camping nearly everywhere. Ideally, we'd like to use the hammocks. They're much more comfortable, but we are prepared to use the tent if we have to. We are past Curvin's Point. Some uh, nice gentlemen were up on their patio looking down on us, offered we could come up on their patio and join them. And it took every ounce of me to say no to a cold beer. And we're approaching or in the Cote Island. That might be Cote Island there. Um, making our way down to Sandy Island and the mouth of the French. And that's looking across Lake Nipissing. And you can see the shore there and then it dips away to just haze. There's some really nice <laughs> islands dotting everywhere. And then out a little further, there's just rocks. There's nothing on the island, just a big whale's back. They're everywhere. Look at them all swimming. Right off the edge of this island, you can start seeing a big, big piece of land. And I think that's the northern tip of Sandy Island. But we'll stay reasonably close to shore and uh, keep the wind at our back. And in, in probably two hours, hour and a half, we'll start looking for a really cool spot to set up camp for the night. So we're not quite sure but it's possible that this is Wigwam Point, uh, but it may not be. <laughs> it may be a little further down. Either way though, we've been paddling for quite some time, so we're going to try and swing this corner, see if we can't pull in and just stand up and get our bearings a little bit. So this poor guy's got a broken wing. Trying to get situated here, but I had to do a video of the guy riding up my jacket. Big old water snake. What are your thoughts on that, Richard? I, I, we got to turn around and go home, actually. <laughs> are you just lying to me and telling me it's a, a water snake or is it a rattler? It's not a rattlesnake. I was just walking up on this shelf it's still and, bumping around. and it, uh, it was way. pretty loud going down into the water. Then, sure enough, it's right here. It oh. just went under. Yeah, it's gone. I didn't know they went under that deep. Uh, it won't go. It won't stay under long, I don't think. There it is, way over there on the rock. 
healthy size snake. <laughs> I don't know where the other one went. It snuggled up in there. You could probably go out in the boat and see them better. But let's do it. Disgusting. We're out of here. I'm not staying on this site with a bunch of snake dents. If that's what they're called, I don't know, but gross. Blech. There's one thing I dislike more than Evan. <laughs> it's snakes. Can you imagine we capsize right now? Oh my god. I'd swim that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'd swim to the other shore. Nope. Grass. As far as the eye can see. Yeah, you come into this bay and it's just literally grass. You don't know if you can go around or not. We've currently just made a change of plans within 30 seconds and we're... This isn't way point. I don't know. Maybe we didn't change our plans. I don't know. Now we're re-looking at the map, but Evan's got a GPS and I, he pretty much already told me I got to go that way. So, I don't know. But right now we're bobbing through the reeds of grass and our short form plan was to just go only, through it. Only one person paddling. <laughs> he's acting like I care. I don't even know where he's trying to go right now. Ah oh, well. Alright, we are in the vicinity of Waba Chonk Island, maybe? There's a cabin on the back side of this island. Uh, I think that's the island that's named on the map. And... There's this long skinny island that's behind it. Uh, I don't see any boats or structures or anything. So we are pretty tired. So if we can find a decent place to land and there's no one else on this island, we are probably gonna post up for the night. So this is probably gonna be home for the night. There's a little stand of trees over here. A bunch of trees over where the boat is over there but somebody's had a fire here before we're gonna probably build up a little fire pit already started dragging wood out and we didn't pay a whole lot of money to have this view Well, you can definitely see my sunburn with the sunglasses coming in. What year was plastic invented, do you know? Wait, what year was plastic invented, do you know? Like plastic? Plastic. Oh. Um, I fell in the water while I was doing the dishes. On the way to the French River, take nine. Uh, Evan burned his fingers on the potatoes. Do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. After what? What do we gotta get out of the footage? Get an out. Thunderbird. Oh, if you're into country music and you listen to George Strait's song, I can still make Cheyenne, and then listen to Garth Brooks' song, Beaches of Cheyenne, you may find a connection. I don't know. Give it a try for yourself. I have another drink, bud. <laughs>